Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you groups in GitLab where we can create a group and have a private repo within that group. All of the users who are associated with that group will have access, and the outside world will not. So let's get going on that now. So we've gone over a bit about user management and permissions, but we haven't talked about teams yet. Now, teams are essentially just groups within GitLab. So if we head to our side here and we select groups, you'll be able to see that we don't have any groups currently created. Now as an admin, I'm able to create a group, so let's go ahead and do that. We can have this just be level up, okay? And this can be level up contributors, okay? Now we could even have an avatar. Now for visibility level, we have a private, internal, and public. So this is actually not just a group itself, but a group and the group's projects. So if the group is private, the group itself and its projects can only be viewed by its members. If it's internal, the group and any internal projects can be viewed by any logged in users. And if it's public, it's just totally anonymous. Anybody who has the address can see it. Now, private groups are a great thing because what you can do is have repos that various people only have access to if they have a certain role in the group. So let's go ahead and set this up as a private group. Let's click create group. Okay, now that we have our group, let's go ahead and you can see we have some projects. So now from our group, let's go ahead and actually create a project. We just go ahead and select new project and we can just have this be store and let's just have this be all private. Okay, so now that we create our project here, you can see that we have this project and it's not gonna be available to anyone outside of this group. So if you were a user, let's go ahead and actually we have this project level up store and if we actually click on this URL path here, you can see it shows up here. Uh, and if we wanted to have another user, let's go to our admin area where we had another user, Courtney. We can say, let's impersonate Courtney. And now we want to go ahead and see projects. I mean, we can click projects and all you can see is that we have the administrator test and the Courtney test project, which is public. Now we don't have access to any of this group stuff. I'm not a member of any of these groups. And because of that, we're not gonna have access to any of those projects. But the moment that Courtney gets added to the group, so let's go ahead and remove that. And I'm no longer impersonating her. So let's go ahead and add her to the group. We can go ahead and from the admin section, you should look like this. We can click groups and now we can see our level up. Now let's go ahead and click level up here. And you'll notice from the administrative section of this, we can now click add users to group. We can even search for a user here. Since obviously we don't have that many, we can just select Courtney and then click add users to group. Now Courtney should be in this group and when we click her, we'll have access to impersonate her again. So we can do that. And now while impersonating Courtney, you can now see she has access to all of the level up store projects here. So perfect, I've created a group and I have projects that are in that group and because of that, anyone who's a member of that group now has access and as an administrator, you can move around and add people to the group as you see fit. Cool, so I'm gonna click this red guy, stop impersonating her. And now we have a group, we have a project in a group and we have a member that's been added to that group and we're able to define permissions based on who's in the group. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you'd like to see the rest of these GitLab videos before they're available on YouTube, head to store.leveluptutorials.com and become a Level Up Pro. They're gonna be available for streaming or for download on store.leveluptutorials.com and leveluptutorials.com if you become a pro. You'll also be able to purchase this series if you're not into subscriptions. So as always, this is Scott. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.